Oh, it's 1812 and Napoleon's got this massive hard on for power. He's already done the impossible and crowned himself the emperor and has whooped the ass of almost every single European country. But there's this one big ass bear giving him the side eye and is ruled by Tsar Alexander I of Russia. And the point's like, hold up, I've taken on the rest of Europe and destroyed them. I could handle a bunch of vodka drinking loving Russians. So he decides to gather the largest army Europe has ever seen, over 600,000 troops, and this is called the Grand Army. His pride and joy filled with soldiers all over his empire. And remember, it's summer, it's hot, but they're keen and ready to take over the world, or so they thought. Come here, Russia has a tactic called the Scourge Earth Policy, and it, it's absolutely insane. As Napoleon's forces move in, the Russians retreat, burning crops in villages and anything useful to the French. Napoleon's troops march deeper into Russian territory, but there's absolutely nothing for them to loot or pillage. It's all just ashes and dust. Then there's the Battle of Bordino, the biggest and bloodiest single day of action of the Napoleonic Wars. Napoleon does his usual badass military maestro thing, and the Russians lose a lot of men. And when I mean a lot of men, I mean over 100,000. Here's the kicker, they don't surrender. The remaining troops decide to retreat, taking the rest of their weapons. Napoleon, then being the Chad goat that he is, strolls into Moscow expecting a grand surrender. But the city is completely empty. It's a ghost town. The Russians literally set their own city on fire and left Napoleon with nothing but smoke and flames. See, now Napoleon is cooked because the Russian winter is starting. His men are hungry and cold and the Russians refuse to surrender. So he says, you know what, F it. He hangs around Moscow for a month hoping the Russians will come to their senses and give up. But nah, the full Russian winter sets in, and boy, is it brutal. See, this isn't that pussy French snow. It's Russian snow, and that kind of snow freezes the balls off a brass monkey. Napoleon has to admit that this ain't working, and he orders a retreat. Picture this, the greatest general in all of history retreats home with thousands of men starving, freezing, trying to march back the way they came from. It's absolute chaos, a slow-moving disaster. Ah, but see, the Russians were smart. Now that Napoleon's army is defeated and freezing, they start picking them off one by one like vultures. By the time Napoleon's grand army makes it back to friendly territory, they're not so grand anymore. Only 22,000 out of the 600,000 men made it back alive. You see, it's one of the greatest military catastrophes in history. Napoleon returns to France and it's all falling apart for him, everything he worked for. His reputation takes a beating, his enemies smell blood in the water, but being Napoleon, he keeps fighting for a bit, but let's be honest, the writing was on the wall, and all of this because he thought he could take on a Russian winter. The moral of the story is don't invade Russia during the winter. Now, a certain mustache man didn't learn from this lesson either. However, that's a different video and a different story for a different time. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure to follow for more, and peace.